A bustling college room filled with sleepy-eyed students and a no-nonsense professor at the front of the room. Now imagine one student strolling in late, looking like they just rolled out of bed. But here's the kicker. This isn't just any student. This is Jake, the math whiz with a knack for stirring up trouble. And when the professor throws him a curveball with a strange question, Jake's response leaves everyone speechless. How did this latecomer manage to shock the entire class? Jake, a university student, rushed into the classroom, looking like he just sprinted a marathon. He's late, really late, for one of those make or break classes, mathematical physics. He can practically feel the tension in the air as he fumbles to find a seat. Why is everyone on edge? Well, it's not just any class, it's Professor Landon's class. And let me tell you, Professor Landon doesn't mess around. His classes are like the Olympics of academia. You gotta be on time or you're out. Now, Jake knows this. He's sweating bullets as he slides into the room, shirt untucked, backpack swinging. He knows he's in hot water, but just when he thinks he might escape notice, Professor Landon locks eyes with him. Uh-oh. You can almost hear the collective gulp from the students as they watch Professor Landon zero in on Jake like a hawk, spotting its prey. And then comes the bombshell. Professor Landon asks Jake a question, and that's like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube blindfolded. How would you prove to me that Z equals 1? Now for those of us who aren't math whizzes, that might sound like gibberish. But trust me. In the world of mathematical physics, that's like asking someone to explain the meaning of life in binary code. So there's Jake, already feeling like he's about to face a firing squad for being late. And now he's got this impossible question thrown at him. You could cut the tension in the room with a knife as everyone waits for his response. It's like watching a high-stakes poker game where all the chips are on the line. But here's the kicker. Instead of crumbling under the pressure, Jake surprises everyone with his answer. And I mean everyone. Even Professor Landon looks like he's seen a ghost. It's moments like these that make you realize just how unpredictable life can be, especially in the hollowed halls of academia. Jake's standing there, probably thinking he's about to get chewed out by Professor Landon for being late. I mean, who wouldn't be nervous, right? But instead of just apologizing and taking a seat like most people would, Jake did something crazy. He actually answers Professor Landon's impossible question. Let me tell you, the whole room is holding its breath at this point. You could hear a pin drop. Jake looks a little shocked himself, like he couldn't believe he's actually about to say what he's about to say. But then, something amazing happens. He starts talking, and it's like he's been waiting for his whole life for this moment. He's cool as a cucumber, laying out his answer with all the confidence of someone who's got it all figured out. And let me tell you, it's not just some run-of-the-mill response. No sir, Jake goes full-on Einstein with his explanation. He starts talking about set theory and quantum logic like it's no big deal, throwing around terms the most of us have never even heard of. But somehow he makes it all sound so simple, like he's just explaining how to bake a cake or something. And the crazy part, it actually makes sense. I mean, I'm not saying I understand every word he said, far from it but you can see the light bulbs going off in people's heads all around the room. It's like Jake opened up a whole new way of thinking about math and physics, and everyone's scrambling to catch up. This guy isn't your average Joe. He's been a math and physics whiz since he was knee-high to a grasshopper. Let me take you back to the beginning, way back to when Jake was just a little tyke with a head full of dreams and a heart full of numbers. I'm talking about a kid who could count on his fingers before he could tie his shoes. Let me tell you, he was all about those numbers and equations from day one. While the other kids were out playing tag and kicking a ball around, Jake was probably somewhere off with his nose buried in a math book, solving equations just for the fun of it. Yeah, he was that kind of kid. The kind who gets excited about quadratic equations and calculus, while the rest of us are struggling to add 2 plus 2. I mean, it's like he had math running through his veins instead of blood. And you know what? He loved every minute of it. While the other kids were groaning about math class, Jake was sitting there with a big old grin on his face, soaking up every bit of knowledge like a sponge. But here's the thing about Jake. He didn't just stop at what they were teaching him in school. 
Oh no, he had a hunger for knowledge that couldn't be satisfied by any old textbook. He was always asking questions, pushing the boundaries of what he knew, and looking for answers in places most people wouldn't even think to look. And then there's Dr. Harrison, Jake's mentor and the guy who helped him take his love of math and physics to the next level. Dr. Harrison saw something special in Jake, something that set him apart from the rest of the pack. So he took him under his wing and showed him the ropes, teaching him things you wouldn't find in any classroom. But it wasn't all smooth sailing for Jake. Nope, life had a curveball waiting for him. A near fatal accident that would change everything. See, there was this experiment gone wrong, some kind of mishap involving subatomic particles and radiation. Long story short, Jake ended up getting exposed to something he probably shouldn't have. Now let me paint you a picture of what happened next. You see, most people would have been toast after something like that. I mean, a near fatal accident in a research lab? That's some serious stuff. But not Jake. Oh no, he was made of tougher stuff. Instead of frying his brain like a breakfast egg, the accident did something strange. It's like a switch had been flipped inside of him, unlocking a whole new level of brain power. I'm talking about a light bulb moment of epic proportions. Suddenly Jake could see the world in a whole new way, like he'd been given a backstage pass to the universe's greatest show, and that's where the solely duality principle comes into play. This isn't just some harebrained idea that Jake came up with on a whim. No sir, this is the result of some serious brain power at work. It's like Jake's brain got a turbo boost, and now he's operating on a whole different level than the rest of us mere mortals. So yeah, when life handed Jake lemons, he didn't just make lemonade. He whipped up a whole feast fit for the gods. And the solely duality principle? Well, that's just the appetizer. Trust me, you won't want to miss the main course. Now, if you haven't heard of this before, don't worry, you're not alone. This is some physics cutting edge stuff we're talking about here. And it's shaking up the world of math and physics like a tornado in a trailer park. So, what is the solely duality principle, you ask? Well, it's like this. Imagine you got two things that seem completely opposite, like apples and oranges, right? Normally, you'd say they're as different as night and day, but according to Jake, that might not be the whole story. See, Jake's theory isn't just your run-of-the-mill idea, it's a game-changer. A paradigm shift in a world of theoretical physics. Here's the scoop. Jake's theory throws a curveball at the idea that things have to be black or white, right or wrong. Instead, he's saying, hey, what if things aren't so cut and dry? What if there's a whole spectrum of possibilities out there? It's like he's suggesting that the universe is this big, messy tangle of contradictions, where apples can be oranges and cats can be dogs. I mean, it's mind-blowing stuff, right? It's like he's tapping into some higher plane of existence, where the rules we thought we knew no longer apply. And you know what's even crazier? It kind of makes sense. I mean, when you think about it, the universe is a pretty wild and unpredictable place. So why should we expect everything to fit neatly into the little boxes? Maybe just maybe, there's a room for a little chaos in our understanding of the world. Now you might be thinking, but wait a minute. Isn't that breaking all the rules of math and physics? And yeah, you'd be right. Jake's theory is like a wrecking ball smashing through the walls of convention, leaving physicists scratching their heads and reaching for their calculators. But here's the thing. The more people dig into Jake's theory, the more they realize just maybe he's onto something. Suddenly, suddenly, those things that seemed impossible before, like apples being oranges, don't seem so crazy anymore. It's like Jake opened up a whole new world of possibilities, and the academic community can't get enough. And let me tell you, the buzz around the solely duality principle is off the charts. Scientists from all over the globe are lining up to pick Jake's brain, eager to see where his theory might lead. It's like the scientific equivalent of discovering a new planet. Everyone wants to be the first to stake their claim. Let's talk about Jake's big moment in the spotlight his academic recognition and the impact he's had on the world of science. This guy isn't just making waves, he's causing a full-on tsunami, and the academic community can't get enough. First off, let's talk about Jake's achievements. This guy's been racking up accolades like nobody's business. I'm talking publications and some of the most prestigious journals out there. You know, the ones that only the top dogs in the field get into. 
And it's not just some fluff piece either. Jake's dropping knowledge bombs left and right, pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible in math and physics. Or wait, there's more to Jake's story than just his academic achievements. This guy's been racking up awards like they're going out of fashion. I'm talking about the Young Innovator Prize in Theoretical Physics. And let me tell you, it's a big deal. We're talking Nobel Prize level recognition here. The kind of award that catapults you into the stratosphere of scientific stardom. Think about it. One minute you're just another face in the crowd, and the next you're rubbing your elbows with the biggest names in the biz. It's the kind of award that makes people sit up and take notice. That lets everyone know that you're the real deal. The cream of the crop. The bee's knees. And let me tell you, Jake deserves every bit of the recognition. He's not just some flash in the pan. He's the real deal. A bona fide genius with a brain the size of a planet. But here's the thing about Jake. He's not just in it for the fame and glory. No, sir, this guy's got a bigger mission in mind. Expanding scientific knowledge and inspiring the next generation of scientists. He's like a modern day Einstein, except with better hair. Jake's out there giving lectures, mentoring young minds, and generally being a rock star in the world of academia. He's showing everyone that you don't have to be some stuffy old professor to make a difference. You just have to have a passion for knowledge and a willingness to push the envelope. And let me tell you, the impact he's having is off the charts. Kids all over the world are looking up to Jake as their hero, their role model, their beacon of hope in a world that sometimes seems stuck and neutral. He's showing them that anything is possible if you're willing to dream big and work hard. Professor Landon, the man, the myth, the legend. See, at first, Professor Landon wasn't exactly Jake's biggest fan. In fact, you could say he was more skeptical than a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. But all that changed faster than you can say Eureka, once Jake started dropping knowledge bombs left and right. At the beginning, Professor Landon probably saw Jake as just another student. Late, unprepared, and not worth his time. But then Jake goes and blows everyone's minds with his answer to that impossible question. Suddenly, Professor Landon's sitting up a little straighter in his chair like he's finally paying attention. As Jake's theory gains traction and starts making waves in the academic community, you can practically see Professor Landon's skepticism evaporating like dew in the morning sun. I mean, it's like watching a polar ice cap melt. Slow at first, then picking up speed until there's nothing left but admiration. It's funny how quickly things can change, isn't it? One minute, Professor Landon's giving Jake the side eye for being late to class, and the next, he's hanging on every word like he's the second coming of Einstein. I guess that's the thing about groundbreaking ideas. They have a way of turning skeptics into believers faster than you can say Eureka. But you know what's really cool? It's not just that Professor Landon's coming around to Jake's ways of thinking. It's that he's actually starting to admire him, and hey, who can blame him? Jake's not just some run-of-the-mill student anymore, he's a bona fide genius, a trailblazer in the world of theoretical physics. So yeah, it's safe to say that things are looking up for Jake and Professor Landon. Who knows, maybe they'll even become best buds someday. Stranger things have happened, right? And it's not hard to see why. Jake's not just some punk kid who lucked into a good idea, he's the real deal. He's smart, he's driven, and he's not afraid to shake things up a bit. And you know what? Professor Landon respects that. So what does all this mean for Professor Landon's teaching approach? Well, let's just say he's had a bit of a wake-up call. Instead of sticking to the same old routine, he's starting to think outside the box, encouraging his students to do the same. He's realizing that sometimes the most groundbreaking ideas come from the most unexpected places. Even a kid who shows up late to class. And you know what? That's the mark of a true teacher. Someone who's willing to learn from their students as much as they're willing to teach them. I mean, talk about going from zero to hero, right? From showing up late to class to becoming a respected figure in the world of theoretical physics. Jake's story is like something straight out of a Hollywood movie. But it's not just about Jake. It's about the bigger picture. The idea that anyone, no matter where they come from, or how they start, can make a difference in the world. Jake's journey reminds us that it's okay to question the norms and push the boundaries, to think outside the box and challenge the status quo. Because who knows, 
Maybe the next big breakthrough is just waiting for someone to come along and shake things up a bit. And let's not forget the importance of staying curious and open-minded. I mean, that's what got Jake to where he is today. That insatiable hunger for knowledge, that willingness to explore the unknown and embrace the unexpected. So, let's take a page out of Jake's book and keep our eyes and minds wide open. Because you never know what amazing discoveries might be just around the corner. In the end, Jake's story is a testament to the endless pursuit of knowledge. The idea that there's always more to learn and discover. No matter how much we think we know. So here's to Jake and to all the other dreamers and explorers out there. May we never stop asking questions, pushing boundaries, and reaching for the stars. After all, as Jake has shown us, every discovery, no matter how small, is a step toward understanding the universe in all its infinite complexity.